happen to anyone. You jump off of a tall building and suddenly you find yourself traveling through time. When this happens, don't panic. Take a breath and consider your surroundings. If you are in a populated area, your first order of business is to blend in, and for that, you must determine when you are. If you see Neanderthals, approach them slowly with open arms. Neanderthals are surprisingly hospitable toward time travelers and will make your stay as comfortable as possible, unless you discuss the Neanderthal extinction hypothesis, which is considered a faux pas. Recognize early Sumerian architecture by its use of unbaked clay masonry. As this culture is strongly xenophobic, avoid loud words and forceful gestures. Wingsuits and modern trinkets make acceptable gifts, but make sure to reserve your cell phone and other consumer electronics for governors or men of higher station. Should you find yourself trapped in the Iron Age, you may leave a message to future generations by inscribing it on a steel plate and making it within a clay statue. Your loved ones may retrieve it and make arrangements for your rescue. In the interests of preserving the timeline, avoid inventing modern artifacts such as the steam engine or the parachute, as you could revolutionize everything thousands of years too early. If you appear during the actual Industrial Revolution, your best course will be to approach a futurist. Key figures include Eli Whitney, Jean-Pierre Blanchard, and science fiction author Samuel Clemens. If you must select an alias, take care not to choose one based on a name you remember from history. You may be treated as a madman, slain as a villain, or, worst of all, you may end up becoming the very figure that you are trying to imitate. This concludes the quick training guide on dealing with accidental time transportation. Above all, remember to have fun. And if you're stuck in the 1950s, try to avoid the temptation to assassinate European Chancellor Adolf Hitler, as such attempts are rarely successful. Goodbye.